different reasons for this but one of them is I feel like when you go out with the intention of making art like you bring your sketchbook or you bring your notebook to write it or in my case right now like I'm looking for things to film to put in the video I feel like you're really opening your eyes to things you wouldn't see otherwise and it allows you to not only like romanticize your life but also just like as someone who likes to make art, it's gonna help me get more ideas. Another reason I wanna do this is because one of my New Year's resolutions was to try and post more videos. Specifically, I wanted to post eight videos a month. And it's funny because originally when I made this goal, it was because I was like, okay, eight videos a month would help me grow my channel. I can maybe get monetized. It was really about numbers. But now with every single video I make, I make so many strides. I'm starting to feel like, and this is just like an arbitrary number, like every eight videos, my editing style and what I film and the way I just view YouTube changes completely. And so if I take eight months to make eight videos, I'm literally just prolonging my growth when it's like if I were to make eight videos in one month, it's like exponentially increasing the amount that I can improve, the amount that I will discover what I like. And I feel like that's the case with most artistic venues or whatever you're exploring is like the more you're putting out, the more chances you're giving yourself to discover what you like and to improve and to create your style. And so I feel like right now by making a weekly vlog, it will allow me more opportunities to grow. And that's something I really want to give myself. Yeah, I'm sick of all my fake friends. And I'm sick of tying up loose ends. And I'm sick of never really knowing when to be real and not pretend. Just so I can fit in. Yeah, I never really was your friend. Yeah, that had to come to an end. Again, yeah, I'm really done. Cause I can't have fun. No, I can't have fun with anyone. But in my room for too long, writing sad songs for someone. But now I really know how to go. And now I really know how to flow on my lonesome. Feel so wholesome. Now I feel good that I wrote some. So let me quote some. Yeah, I don't really like you, but I try to, so I can't have fun. I just roll around town with a frown. It's time to clean this up. Hey, so it's March 3rd right now. I don't know how well you can hear me right now. There's this like waterfall in back of me. I'm in this really random apartment complex because I plan to go sit outside the library and do some painting to get some fresh air. And then as I was walking, it started to rain. And so I ended up finding this gazebo that I've never noticed before. So, you know, when your plans get messed up, you find things you would never discover usually. This footage is really funny for me to watch right now. I'm just editing the video before I head out because I really thought I was gonna have like a fun, peaceful time painting and I would just be able to like update you on what's been going on. And while I did have fun, it definitely wasn't peaceful. <laughs> People kept coming up to talk to me and I had so many interactions while I was sitting here. Sorry? Oh, just practicing. Nothing in particular. Outside, and then it started like this, like an Enjoy. Thank you so much. Careful attention. the fashion, we can't get any close without touching. I say, I can't pull my hair there without going through it. Thank you. Without us both, with the going through it. So basically what's going on in these clips is that the day before I worked a full eight hour day and I didn't make any time to draw. And the day in the clips, I was gonna start work at 4.30 and I didn't wanna repeat what happened the day before. So I went on a little walk, found a place to sit down and set a 10 minute timer to draw, which 
I think is the best way to incorporate drawing into a busy day. Like no matter how much you work and how tired you are, you probably have 10 minutes to sit down and draw. I did actually forget though to bring my sketchbook, so luckily I had this random piece of paper in my backpack that had directions written on it from like a year ago. Like in emergency situations, any receipt in your pocket works just as well as an actual, you know, sketchbook or piece of drawing paper. And for me right now, it's all about building the habit and not the actual final product. So it doesn't really matter what I draw on, as long as I'm drawing. And if you don't know what to draw, because obviously forcing yourself to draw in 10 minutes doesn't really give yourself much time to think up something, it helps to just pick a random reference photo so it takes the thinking and complication out of creating, which I think is necessary for a quick drawing session. I'm heading home. I don't want to get caught if it's pouring because the rain started coming down a bit harder, but that was such a fun experience. <laughs> Oh, cause lately I tend to 